Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at creating a really cool uh, Invisible Man type effect. So this is what we're going to look at creating. As you can see from the example, we not only have our character disappearing as they walk, um, we also have them affecting the background or distorting the background as they turn invisible. Um, so that's the you know, what we'll be creating today. Um, so here in After Effects, I've got two files. I've got background plate and walking. I'm just going to grab walking and I'll put that into a new composition. So that's the third icon along here that looks like a film strip and let go. Okay, so that just creates a composition that's exactly the same uh, size and length as the original composition. All right, I also have this background plate and I'm going to bring that underneath the walking Okay, and all that is, if I switch the eyeball off the walking, is the background of that original shot. Okay, so the key to this kind of effect, or effects like this where you have a character disappearing, is to record, is basically have a mantra of with and without. Record it with your actor and record it without your actor. Use a tripod. Um, and avoid zooming and that sort of thing. Um, you can see in the original shot that we, we added some camera shake and we can just do that here in After Effects so it feels a bit more organic. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we'll click on the walking layer and we're going to duplicate it. So we'll go Edit, Duplicate. And I'm just going to switch the eyeball off on the other layers, so walking and background. I'm also going to rename this layer, so instead of walking, I'll right click and go rename, and we'll call this displacement map. Okay, so this is going to be the layer that drives the distortion on our background. Um, so I'm going to come across, I don't want to have to, basically what we're going to do is key out our character. We don't want to have to do it with the whole thing because it is quite time consuming. So I'm just going to come along to where I think I'm going to start making him disappear, which might be somewhere around this six second mark. Okay, all right. So then I'm gonna go up to the top toolbar and I'll click on the pen tool. Um, then I'm gonna left click and put a dot. So basically we're gonna trace around our character in a probably pretty rough kind of fashion. I'm not gonna go overboard and making this really detailed. Um, when you're doing this for an actual film or a project, you can go nuts and spend a lot of time on your um, on your uh, keying out of the character, but I'm not going to. Okay, so once I've closed it, that's what we have. Now basically we're going to animate this shape to move around our character for the rest of the timeline. So I'll go down this displacement map and down the masks and down mask 1. Okay, so what we're going to animate is the mask path. Okay, so that's the shape of the mask. So I'll click on the stopwatch and that adds a keyframe. All right, now I'm going to go along and I'm going to click once outside of the shape and then what that'll enable me to do is just to move each of these points around. Okay, so I'm just going to move them roughly to the edges of the character. Again, I'm not being too, you know, f you know full on and pedantic about this. Um, the effect will work even if it's not actually, you know, really precise. Okay, so that'll do. I'll move along again. Okay, so you can see I'm, I'm not doing every, you know, every single keyframe because it will animate as it goes around, as it, as it you know, increases in time. Um, but I'm doing it, say, every half a second. Okay, so there we have it. Really quick 
rough and ready mask around our character. Now I'll just go to the mask feather and down here in your layer and I'll feather that out just so it's not so harsh, the edge, which actually will help this effect too. Okay, so that's what we end up having. So let's turn on the other layers now. Okay, and so visibly you can't actually tell that anything's happened so far. Um, and while I'm at it, I might just rename these. So the background layer, just so it doesn't have the move, keep things nice and clean, and the walking layer. Okay, all right, so the next step is we're gonna get the walking layer. Okay, so layer above the background and we're going to uh, dissolve that character basically. So we'll go to the start of where we actually have keyframed, go down transform, and we want to click on opacity. So at the moment it's at 100%, we'll go along say you know, a second and a half, we want it to be quite quick, and then we'll take the opacity down to zero. Okay. Um, and the layer that you're seeing now above it is just this displacement map. And I'll just take the eyeball off on that now. So if I left that as is, I'll just play through. Okay, we've already got quite an you know, interesting effect which can be used you know, at the end of a film. Say a character disappears or something like that. Um, heads off into the sunset. That's not a bad way to do it. And it works great because on the day we did shoot it with a tripod and that mantra of with and without, with your actor, without your actor. Okay, and it makes this kind of effect super easy to do. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at distorting our background. Now I'm gonna get this displacement map layer and I'll click on it. And what we need to do with this now is pre-compose it. So I'm gonna go up to layer, pre-compose. I'm gonna move all attributes into the new composition. So if yours is on leave all attributes, click it over to move all attributes. And again, we'll just rename it displacement comp and click okay. All right, now on our background layer, I'll click on that and we wanna apply an effect. Effect, distort, displacement map. Okay, so Effect, Distort, Displacement, Map, and click on that. All right, now up here in the Effect Controls, we've got Displacement, Map, Layer. At the moment, it's selecting itself, the background. We want to choose Displacement, Comp. Okay, so it'll go back and it won't look like a whole lot has changed. Here on the Maximum his Horizontal dis Displacement, let's increase that from 5. And you can see what's happening on the background there. If you have a look at that pole, it's being displaced. So I'll go along, I won't go a huge amount. We want it to be quite subtle, maybe 32. And we'll also increase the vertical displacement, maybe even less, about 29, okay? So if I move along now, you can see that our character there is displacing that background. Now we can tweak this a bit more, so I might increase the vertical a little bit, just in case you can't see it as well in the tutorial. Okay, but we now have our character and he's affecting the background. So let's just have a look at that. Okay, it's looking good. Um, now when he gets close to the top, you can see this black that's starting to happen here. Um, over in the displacement map effects, let's just click on wrap pixels around. Okay, and that'll just kind of fix up those sorts of errors. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got so far. Okay, so that's the basics of this effect. Now, um, as in the original example, I added a little bit of color grading and some uh, camera shake. So let's have a look at getting that done. The first thing I'm gonna do is get our uh, walking comp, which is this one. And I'm going to drop that into a new composition. Okay, so this is 
our composition with all of the layers and effects, but it's just being compressed into this one layer, okay, which means that we can now work on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some color grading. So we'll go back to here. Um, we'll go up to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. And we're just going to create a little bit of an S curve. So if you come over here, left click and drag down a bit, so to darken it, and then maybe up towards the top, left click and drag up. Okay, so we'll get a little bit more contrast between the blacks and the whites. Um, it's quite saturated at the moment, um, which is because it's shot on digital video. So we'll add another effect, effect, color correction, tint. And tint basically desaturates video. So at 100% it's black and white. But if we bring it back down to say 30, um, what it'll do is just give us, just take away some of that harshness of the color. Now if you do want to recolor it a bit, um, you can go up to Curves, and at the moment it says RGB, red, green, blue. But if I click on RGB, the drop-down list, I can click on red, and I can left-click and drag down a bit. And that'll just give it a bit more of a cooler kind of a look. Okay, so I'm happy with that. All right, let's add a little bit of camera shake. We'll go down the walking layer and down Transform. And we're going to, on our keyboard, press Alt and then we're going to left click on position. Okay, and now this comes up, transform.position, which means that we can write an expression. So type in wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, -G -G -E, a bracket, uh, and then a number, we're going to go uh, two, comma, 20, and then close the bracket. So that's going to tell the composition to move uh, up to two times a second and move at 20 pixels. So let's have a look at what that does. I'm just going to lower the resolution so it renders a bit quicker. Okay, so you can see that we're getting some camera shake moving in there. We're also getting these black edges, so let's fix that. Under Transform, where it says Scale, let's just boost that up, I think. Okay, gone to 106%, and that should take care of those edges, and it has. Okay, so what we have now is just a little bit of that camera shake going on, which makes it feel a bit more organic, as though someone is just there as a cameraman filming it without a tripod. Okay, so that is our invisible man type effect um, if you're going to do you know the supernatural kind of movie and you need this sort of thing um, then come back find this tutorial put it to good use and enjoy